Hello guys, happy Vlogmas day 8. I know you guys can't see my eyes because of these blue light glasses, but that's okay. I just wanted to start the vlog saying good morning. As you guys can tell by the title, I thought today would be a good day to show a very realistic homeschooling day in our life. If you are new, welcome. I homeschool my two older ones and I do have a one-year-old. My oldest is in kindergarten. My middle one is in preschool and then I, again I do have a one-year-old and I'm currently pregnant we would love for you to subscribe I'm gonna take you guys through our day show you guys what we do my kids are still young so I really only teach them for about a good hour and a half maybe and then I just like to play learning games with them and I will let them get on their iPads because they do have some learning apps on there and stuff but we'll get into that later but I just wanted to start the vlog and say happy vlogmas day 8 so right now they're watching Miss Monica, I like to put her on first thing in the morning after they are done getting ready and stuff If you're a homeschooler or even if you're not and you just want your toddler to hi kind of watch something I recommend Miss Monica. I'll link her channel down below, but right now it's the, just their circle time So I like to play this for them that way they you know get their brains moving before we actually start our school day This is my homeschooling little divider. I guess I did get it from Ikea But this is where I keep a lot of their homeschooling stuff So while they're watching Miss Monica, I will get out what they are working on next Which are these morning starters? I did mention them in I think two videos ago, but they do these and then I got these journals for them from Fred Meyer so I will write in them and then they will just obviously do what I'm asking them to do like my oldest is working on addition and stuff they practice writing a day obviously this was in November so, so I'll grab that but I also grab my planner that way I know what we are doing today they're only doing two pages in their journals normally they do more than that just so they can practice their handwriting but they're just gonna be doing two plus their morning starters I got this from the dollar store for my oldest but my one-year-old likes to participate too. I let her just kind of scribble in here. My oldest doesn't really use this one anyway. So that's for my baby. Okay, so now we are going to work on their days as well as the math now that Miss Monica is done. I got this little set from Staples. I'm sure you can find it literally anywhere. But, okay, um, Milana will do weather. Okay. So, can you tell us what the weather is? Ready? Washington State. Idaho State, Oregon State, California State, Nevada State, Utah State, Arizona State, um, New Mexico mm -hmm. State, Colorado State, Wyoming. Wyoming. Oh, you forgot that one. Montana State, okay. North Dakota, South Dakota, Alaska State, and Kansas State, mm -hmm. Oklahoma State, mm -hmm. and. Good job. Okay, one more time. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this one? Yeah. Um, Hawaii State. Good job. What's the ocean? Pacific Ocean. Good job. Do you remember this one? Hawaii State. Alaska. Alaska. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Okay, um, use that now. Good job. Alaska. Yes. Um, Missouri. Yes. Um, Iowa. Yes. Good job, honey. Good job. If Lolo can get these, then we will move on. I'm going to go that way now. So, oh, all right. Gosh, so, okay. let's start from our new ones. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Minnesota. Iowa. Missouri. Missouri, yes. Arkansas. Mm. Louisiana. Yes. Texas. Oklahoma. Kansas. Nebraska. South Dakota. North Dakota. Montana. Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, Wy <laughs> um, Washington, Nevada, Oregon, California. Good job. Hawaii. Yes, do you remember this one? No. Alaska. That's Alaska. okay. We didn't really go over. That's okay. What's the ocean? Pacific Ocean. Okay. Do you guys remember this body of water that we learned? Oh. Yes. Gulf of Mexico. Good job. Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico. Good job. You guys are great. So do you guys remember the time zones? Remember, because we're learning time. Oh, I know. Okay, go ahead. Pacific time zone. Good. Close. Pacific time zone. Yes. Mountain. Mountain time zone. Good job. Central. 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 Right? 
schedule. No, that's okay. All of these states are in the Eastern time zone, okay? okay. What time zone is Washington in? Pacific. We're in the Pacific zone. time zone, right? How about Grandma and Grandpa? Oh, Mountain. Yes. How about Gigi and Papa? Pacific. Good job. What time zone is Iowa in? Yes, Milana. Yes. Central. 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 Good job. Okay. You guys did perfect on these. Now we're going to move over. We're going to learn some new states, okay? As you can tell, they get really excited when we learn new states. She does have her passy. That's okay. All right. So are we ready? Yeah. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Illinois. Illinois. Kentucky, Kentucky, Tennessee, Tennessee, Mississippi. Mississippi. Okay, so these are the one, two, three, four, five. The five new states that we're going to be learning. What is this body of water again? Yes. Gulf of Mexico. Perfect. Gulf of Mexico. Yes, absolutely. Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico. Absolutely. Okay. With the girls. As you can see, we've made it this far in the United States. Um, they love learning new states, as you can see by the excitement. So the next thing I plan on doing is actually printing out their own map, and then they're gonna have to tell me where each of the states are. I think after I teach them the states, we will go into capitals. Monday, December oh, 7th, Perfect. So what is today, Milana? Mm, today is Monday, December 17. Perfect. Hi. How'd you do? Yes. Monday, December 7th, 2020. Okay, perfect. So we have new spelling words. Okay. It said R. Yes. Like, are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. How about that one? Girl. Yep. Sour. No. Saw. Saw. Yes. Good job. Jump. Perfect. Jump. Jump, right? Jump. Yeah. Like, like you jump. Yeah, like you jump. Desk. Desk. Perfect. Desk, yes. And then Wait. the last one? Help. Help. Perfect. So go ahead and write them, and then you will practice spelling them, okay? No, we're, we're not doing that today. All right, so now we are working on their morning starter. Sorry, the footage is so shaky. But again, I like to have them work in their journals just so they can practice their handwriting, but also so Milana is getting used to holding a pencil. I like to do these first thing in the morning before we get into their actual curriculum. Again, just to get their brain going, but also we take our time with these, and then we have lunch, and then we get into our curriculum. All right, so it's lunchtime now. Hi, guys. Hi. Go ahead and say prayer. So Lola will be doing language arts first. She'll be doing that. Milana actually finished her curriculum. So I'm just going to be reviewing with her, but she will also be working in this Brain Quest book, which she's actually done a really good amount of as well. And then after language arts, um, my oldest will do some math. My middle one just got introduced to vowels, so I made these little flashcards for her, and then I made flashcards of her name for her to spell, so she'll probably do that. So I got these from the dollar store. It's a perfect way for my oldest to do math, and I have her do it with Legos. I also need to cut up a new book for her. So with their curriculum, it, it comes with books, but when I had bought it, the books were all sold out. So I got the PDF form and I just printed it out myself. So I cut them, but I bought a stapler with no staples, pregnancy brain. So I just cut it out, put them in the order and then have her read it like that. But she will be reading a new book today. She has new phonics cards to go over. So I will cut these out and then I get to eat. All right, so the girls are hanging out. They're done with their lunch. I get to quickly eat. I'm having just a lean cuisine meal. It's pasta, chicken, and bacon and cheese. I have to let it sit a little bit more, but it looks pretty good. It smells delicious. Fruit, I have coffee. It's cold brew with heavy cream and some water. Let's eat. <laughs> all right, we're all fed. We're good to go. We're gonna finish the second half of school and then they will be done for the day. You have some new words, some new phonics cards, and then you have a new book. Okay. You wanna practice the book first? I can hop. I love to hop. I can sit. That does look like an X, right? I'm gonna read these, and then you have to tell me which one it is, okay? Okay. I go choo choo. I travel on a track. What am I? Train. Train. Good job. I can fit more people than a car. I am a rectangle. What am I? Is it a sailboat or is it a bus? 
Let's let's read it one more time, okay? I can fit more people than a car. I am a rectangle. What am I? Train. You already did train. Oh. Bus. Bus. Good job. Different. Okay, but it's from. Okay. I love when we're in the middle of teaching and she goes, I have to use the bathroom. Oh. Sorry. Perfect. What's that say? Is it wonder cloudy shut shut? Yes. Um what shut. Do you shut. Like, like shut the door. Like shut. Alright guys, just got done with Lolo and her language art. She is learning some new words and she got a new book today. So I had planned on Lolo doing math today, but she is done for the day and i think that's the great thing about homeschooling is i like to go off of my kids i like to go off of how they're feeling i just feel like we have a better school day when it's like that and majority of the time they love learning they love doing school but there are days like today where they're just done they're just done for the day and i think that they did a good amount of work today so Tomorrow she will start with math since she didn't get to do it today and Milana will just continue reviewing her stuff Even though our school day is done probably in about an hour or so I will break out the games um, It's like the memory games and stuff. I'll show you guys that that way They're playing but they don't really realize that they're still learning. You know what I mean? So this is where my planner comes into play um, This is everything that we did today except for she didn't do math obviously and then we still do have games I wanted to look up some science activities that they could do and then some Christmas activities when I'm done with their school day It helps me plan for the next day. Our mornings look the same again Miss Monica our days in states and our journals and stuff But Lola will be starting off with math like I said because she didn't get to it today and then she will work in her brain quest book tomorrow milana i have this book that i got from the dollar store where she's able to cut and glue that way she's working on her fine motor skills and then she'll work in brain quest and then we will be making some christmas trees tomorrow out of our construction paper they get to decorate themselves so again this is when the planner comes into play and it really helps me stay organized all right so really quickly with my four-year-old again she was just introduced to vowels so i wrote them all in flashcards and then she has to put them in order of course i mix them all up and then she does the same thing with her name she knows how to spell her name she just has to put it in order and then she has to tell me every single sound that the letter makes i think this is a great way again for her to learn but she thinks she's playing a game so it's it's perfect and now I am playing this memory game so they have to match the picture with whatever letter it begins with so for instance kite with K and this is probably one of their favorite games to play and I love playing it with them okay so I got one two three Milana got one two three and how much did you get I have one two three four five six Six. Okay, so Lola's the winner. No. Okay, I had to come in here because it was too loud out there. This is what a typical day looks like. Um, some days are longer than others. Some days are shorter than others. Others. Again, I like to go off of how my kids are feeling that day. I also keep in mind that I am 30 weeks pregnant. There are some days where I'm like, you guys, I, mommy can't do it today. And they're completely fine with that. I will say I have completely fallen in love with homeschool. I love it. My kids love it. I do know the only thing that they really miss is really interacting with other kids and playing with other kids. But of course, you know, we have to explain to them that the world is sick. That's how we explain it to them. But um, they're great sports about it. Again, they love it. Right now, because it is December and we are close to Christmas break, I'm not too hard on our schedule. I think I found something that really works for us. Again, my kids are only five and four. Through research, I, again, I've just learned that they learn a lot through play. So I try to incorporate a lot of that throughout our day. Some days I'll break out the Play-Doh for them. Some days we will paint. But also I have like a stack of flashcards. So if there's a game that I can make myself with flashcards, then I'll do that. Kind Kind of like the game that, or game that you guys saw Milana putting the vowels together and spelling out her name. There's also an Instagram account that I follow called Busy Toddler. She has so many great ideas on what to do to keep your toddler busy and so many good at home activities. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas. Bye guys.